Hey guys, welcome to what might be the season finale of season three of this play, Chrome in which we're going to kick a game, uh, kick the episode off of a game on Christmas Day here in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal at St. Mary's Stadium. Obviously, Christmas Day happened a couple of day, uh, a few days ago now. It was four days ago by the time uh, like I'm recording this. It'll be five by the time this goes out. Let's get into this game. In this episode, I'm going to focus more on getting the outside box goals that we need to get for the Man City contract, just in case we don't get promoted with Southampton. Then we can move to, move to the Etihad next season. We also have Wolves who want us, but they needed to score... Uh, three more hatches, it might be possible, but the likes of Arsenal, etc. The, the objectives of some other clubs are just stupid. All right, but we're going to get into this one um, at home at St. Mary's Stadium, up against uh, Fulham in the Carabao Cup, and hopefully continue our good run in this uh, in this competition so far. In terms of player career mode, Torres Pereira, Jao Palinha. Fulham are still in the Premier League, so our Rebo steals it off them early on. Small bone. A few heads of Stewart to open the scoring early on, but a save there. We can catch him up. He's got a little bit of strength about him there, clearly. Or well, is okay. McCarthy made a meal of that. Not going to lie, that should have been a lot more simple for him. Oh come on, this is a good opportunity. Nuno Tavares from Arsenal, Nottingham Forest, and Benfica man. But whipped in to watch. Oh, Ferreira gets that clear. Stewart didn't even go for it. Oh, he said he outs them all there. Another former West Ham man. We've got two in this team, Fanars and Diop. But I got shot, picks it up a Rebo. Oh, you've got to go for that Rebo, man. Had a good counter there. But I got shot. Lawrence, that wide to me here. It's a great pass. Opportunity for me to score from outside the box here. And I shoot, and I do score. That's eight now achieved. And we take the lead. At home against Southampton and the Carabao Cup. We're not like the likes of Everton. Spurs and Aston Villa in this competition in previous episodes so Fulham should be an easier walk in the park but this is a great shot here Nuno Tavares puts a little bit of pressure on me but it doesn't matter the strike is perfect Leno can't save it and we take the lead but it's been fouled there but the ref hasn't given it got to run away to back over here though because the game's system doesn't really work like real life football so that's a saga block there McCarthy why does he keep parrying those? He can't just catch those. Stuart win ahead of please. Oh, Pereira wins it. Andres Pereira now. The Brazilian, formerly of Man United. Shot taken by Garcia, saved by Alex McCarthy. He's making his saves for the camera and he doesn't need to. Like, a couple of the saves that he's made in this game already. He can, he can just catch. That one, parrying is more likely, but like... A couple of the ones that are just rolled straight at him and that he's parried for no reason. Should I saw? Can you find this pass? I shouldn't have called for it though, because that's going to be a free kick for us though. Nice. You never know. You never know. It was on. I had the room for it. Go on. Shot there, shot at Leno, but he's kept it in play as he, Stuart, oh why is he, oh why did he touch that? There's some room here. Oh what a pass, a little roulette pass there. Stuart hit that, Stuart, shot saved by Leno. I was hoping that someone would lay it off to me there, but they went with Stuart instead. Palinha into Iwobi, Andres Pereira now into Garcia. Thought now I was just found space to shoot and McCarthy made a great save. Yeah, move to Fulham wouldn't be bad either, you know. Maybe that could be, if we don't get promoted with Southampton, maybe a little bit of a move to Fulham could. Depending on how they're moving in the Premier League. You know, if they're getting relegated then we won't move to them, but... If they're a decent team in the Prem, then I messed it up massively there. That's why I tried to turn back, but Iwobi was right on me. Stan yet, finds Palin yet. And that's going to be half time, one up due to my goal. He won't be laid it back off to Castagna. It's a nice play here by Fulham. Perraud blocks it though. He does some help from City Money there, but didn't get it. But a cut shot, good work. McCarthy clears only as far as Castagna, and Perraud can't win that. But a cut shot, got a block, he made a block. Trust me with the ball here, gone. Oh, what a ball by Bury. They'll link up. That we've seen all season long. 
Trafalo again. Oh, Diop, the pace. Should have taken like two or three touches before they actually do it. He ended up taking like six touches there before he crossed it. He had to call for it twice or three times. Garcia, Castagna, so I'm pressing. Uribe, you got to press him, lad. Palenia, oh, Palenia, that was awful. I've not been in the settings recently, so I shouldn't have done. Oh, Stuart, bro, why, why does he take like eight touches before doing anything? He's a striker, he's meant to have one touch instinct. Madero, plays it through here to Garcia. And McCarthy, big save needed. Oh, he's rolled it underneath him. I've literally dominated this game. We've literally dominated this game. There you go. Lawrence. Aribo hits it, blocked. So that's what you meant to do, Stuart. You meant to pick the ball up and actually take a good touch there, not let it go out of play. There you go. Lawrence hits it again, blocked. Someone, Lawrence this time. Why is he side footed this time? There we go. Fourth or fifth time's a charm for Lawrence. He's a centre back at heart, but he plays CDM at times. And that's why he took, took him that many attempts. But the patience of me played off there. Just keep giving it the ball. And if a late off to Stewart, he'll probably score. Oh, look, one touch, pass it back to him. Shot there, falls back to him. And there you go. He goes near post when he should have probably... He should have gone far post there. 100% should have gone far post, but... Maybe that's what worked for him. He went for the unlikely option. He might have just scored a winner here. A rare goal for the centre-back. And it will, a heavy, heavy reliance on me in this game. No, 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 no. Andres Pereira. Oh, no. I'm finished. I can't run back. Referee, please be the whistle. Ref, please. McCarthy, big save needed. McCarthy, big save. Oh, he's missed. Okay, well, before we get into possibly one of our biggest games of our career so far, so we were playing the Europa League final four Rangers against Liverpool that we ended up losing due to me getting taken off in the 86th minute. Then they conceded a goal later on to make it 2 1. But we're going to be taking on Man United here in the Carabao Cup semi finals. We've seen a bunch of games in between in the, in the championship because we're currently sitting top of the table and the games we've been playing against teams that are like below, literally 11th and below that their own teams we've faced recently. So we've got big games coming up against the likes of, I believe, we've got Burnley coming up, Luton coming up, Bournemouth and Leeds maybe. Not too sure how else is coming up uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, um, in the cup. But one thing I mentioned is that we've got to check the... Um, what, what it would take to sign for Fulham in the Premier League and see where they are first after, after this. I don't know why I went the long way around, but Fulham... We could sign for Fulham. Okay, that's okay. We could literally sign for them straight away. That is one thing. Okay, let's see where they are in the Premier League as, as it currently stands. Head over here to other leagues. We go to the Premier League. Hopefully, they're in the top half of the table. Or the top, yeah, the top 11, I'd say. They currently sit 14th. Who are some other teams here that I wouldn't mind joining? I mean, Nottingham Forest are 10th. Not as far as the tenth. What, what what do I have to do to join Forest? Let's have a look real quick before we get into this game against Man United. If I wanted to join Nottingham Forest, because they're clearly doing quite well, I would have to. Oh, I could join them as well. Okay, so maybe. Um, I might make. Yeah, I'm gonna make Forest my target team for now. So I think the move to Man City right now is too early. I don't think making the move to Man City right now is like the right idea to do because we're not. Like that level of player just yet. We, we're all a great player, but we haven't proved ourselves in the Premier League just yet, you know, at the top level. But we're going to prove ourselves right now up against Man United in the Carabao Cup semi finals at St. Murray Stadium. Let's get into this one. Bazuna win net. We've got our best defence possible. Let's get into this one and hopefully put a great, uh, put in a great performance and impress some uh, big teams in the Premier League and obviously impress Pep Guardiola, who will probably keep an eye on this game. So, oh, Martin has just done well against uh, Stuart and Malassia. Martinez, okay, we picked, we got the ball off him. They get a shot away. Oh, Malassia, small bone. Lawrence, small bone. Oh, Rebo, good turn, shoot. Oh, what a goal by Juba Rebo. If I'm a Fulham man, I believe he was a Fulham, a Fulham player, if I'm not mistaken. Was he always been at Southampton? I don't know. I believe he's played for another Premier League team at the time. He's played elsewhere in his career, I know that much. But he scores a goal here for us. Passed by Yende in goal. That was a great turn. Look at that. Poor defending from United, but nothing's changed in the three seasons it's been. By in there. 
can't make the save. And we wandered up here in the Carabao Cup semi-finals, unless it's a massive moment. But United have a great team. They've got Bruno, they've got Rashford, they've got Ennis Unal. They're probably going to get a goal or two in this game, especially against Bazuna in net. Coffee would be less faithful in, but at the same time, I would have got my Zarawi. I've got Anthony down the wing, so maybe they're not going to score because they've got a guy who doesn't have any end product. And Rebus picked it off Ericsson. Sidimana. Are we in for an upset here in the Carabao Cup? End of the first five me there, but it's not been given. Ericsson's also fired me, and I'm still going here. Shoot! And Bayern there makes a save. It's a big moment there for me. Okay, I've got Rashid on me. Can you find me here? Go on, that's a good header. Opportunity. Header goal with, and it's a goal! The St. Mary Stadium has come alive. What is happening here? I might have to turn up to Legendary. If we win the Carabao Cup this season, next season we'll go to Legendary. But United, as we know, ain't the best defensively. They've started a B team, Lindelof in their defence, by end it in goal. A rise with everyone in the box. It's a great header. And, and it's Unal over to Rashford looking to utilise his pace against Sletasar. But Sletasar, great defending there. Go on, lad. Oh, Rashford is, right, is washed, honestly. Oh, how's Malassi got the ball there? Oh, no. Speaking of Malassi, here he is. Got Rashford right there. Shot is straight at Bazunu, who made a great save. The Dutchman is across this block today by Brian. By the coach, I made an error of that, but there we go. I should have just gone for that. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have Mal Malassi a stop because he's got the pace on me. And then we're coming back as well. Chance me to score against Man United. And I've... And I've done so. I thought Bayern was going to save that. We're 3-0 up. Inside 25 minutes. You know what this is? This is revenge for the FA Cup final loss. You know, I uh, handed Southampton a couple of years ago when, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. Gabby, what was his name? The Italian striker they used to have in their team, Southampton. I deserved to win the FA Cup that year. And you know, I beat them in the final. And 3 0 up here. Inside 25 minutes, Eric, Te Eric Ten Hag. Still hasn't got a grip of this team as far into it because they're not doing that well in the Premier League. I think we saw that. I can't, I can't remember where they were, but they weren't top of the table, I think. I've got an all right team as well. I don't know what the issue is. I think they're just. Oh, Rebo, man. Last episode, or last game, sorry. It wasn't the best, but this game has stepped up. Should I saw? There we go. Got the ball of Rashford. Oh, here we go again. Oh, Ericsson using his um, experience there, dropping deep and getting into that spot. He know he's tried to drive into that space all his career. So he knows that positions is where midfielders and wingers like to go into. There you go. Bring now back into me. Oh, they were playing some great football here. That's what I was needed to say for being there to me. To be fair, the shot I kind of took took it a bit too wide from my touch, but. Stewart. Left foot strike near post. Oh, blocked by Lindelof. Rashford through to Ennis Unal. Bruno Fernandes into Rashford. But Aribo's there. There you go. Small bone. Back into me, please. See you later. There you go. Oh, the football we're playing right now. This is not a championship team. This is a Premier League-worthy team, but I'm last year defending. Sandra Martinez. Some ball there. Bruno Fernandes dropping deep. And this is Unal. Oh, Breeze there, man. Honestly, Breeze is incredible. Oh, Malassia. Have you let me do that to you? Have you let me do that to you as well? Oh, and as I'll be in there, saved it. He didn't have to. Better cut shot driving forward. Look, even better cut shots coming forward, man. It's how bad this United team is right now. Left foot from range, but in there, saves it wasn't comfortable though. Stewart forces a corner. There we go, Stewart. Another chance for you, lad. There we go, something you get ahead on that. And Bluff has it clear. Where are we? 
Way in there. Oh, almost had him. So that's all out. He's got me the ball. You know what? I give him a room. Oh. Me out. Because the second I get the ball, it instantly go for a challenge. Anthony here comes to Brazilian. The ball through here into Bruno. Oh, it's a great pass over to Edison. Now that's a tap in. If it went down here now, you know, shouldn't be celebrating like that. There's always to win this game. Cross whips in. Perot gets it clear. Okay, what do I do here? What, do, what I do is that, and then this, and then that, and I'm through here. I've got Lindelof trying to drag me to the ground. I've got Lissandro Martinez coming across, but I've got a shot on goal. What happened, Bayern there? What happened? What happened, lad? He should have saved that. That's my hat trick. He should have saved it. He shot straight at him. He saved harder shots for me this game. They shouldn't have started by India in goal. wonder who the first in goalkeeper is at this point. Surely they still have an honour. An honour saves that most likely. Oh, the, uh, the vision was there. I saw it. To put any soon on the wing that on rush it up front. What have I done? Anthony's now in the centre. And this is now shot. Bazunu saves. Could have kept that in. Small bones going off. I'm playing the 490. Ericsson, get that out. Who now gets it out? And Reba tries to get it clear, but Bruno's there. Ericsson. And last year. Shot is up and over. It's Unal, Bruno, oh no. There we go, I made, I made up for my error. There you go. Alcaraz now, gone, 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 play me, feed me. That's a fourth goal, surely. He saves that one, he saves that one. That's, that's what I mean, he should have saved the other one. That was the same shot, pretty much. That, one's, that one was better, actually, genuinely. Can I get another header? This time I'm going to try to flick it across. There you go. So we can get ahead on that. Oh, someone was there. The ball's bouncing around here. Not too sure what's going on. But just let us off. Picked it up. Three. The Southampton fans are coming alive. I'm on the ball. Manning. Shoot it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Gone. Arriba. Shoot. Oh, by India saves. Got another corner. This one I'm going to go for something spectacular. Why not? Oh, he tried. He had, to, he had to save it. I want to see that shot. Are we going to get a replay of it? If we don't get a replay of it, I'll go into an instant replay. We didn't get a replay. I'm going to instant replay the shot. Let's see it in all its glory. On my weak foot as well. I got a swerve on that. Is that going in? It might be hitting the ball, but it could have also been going in. So we can get ahead on that. Gone. That's a good cross. Oh. Someone just had to get something on that and it's in the back of their net. Bruno. It's a Hannibal Mesh route. Blocked today by me. Oh, here we go again. Same old story. A different ending this time. There we go. We've beaten Bayern there for our fourth goal. Against my arch rivals, Man United, I guess you could say. I'm a City fan, so they are the arch rivals in a way. We we'll celebrate with the Southampton faithful. And we've pulled out a massive upset here. Or maybe not really, because we've been a great team this whole Carabao Cup. We've actually been an incredible team. We've knocked out Spurs on penalties. We've knocked out Aston Villa, Everton, Fulham. We've knocked out better teams than Man United. Oh, my try took the ball off me. I was going to try to skill random there and go for a cross later on, but it's a 5 1 win in the first leg. And a match ball and a man in a match for me, a 10.0. And that is a star making performance right there. Okay, so the next game we're going to play here in this episode, what will actually be the final game in this episode? So I completely underestimated how long this uh, video would be if I did play every single game that we could play in this episode, including the FA Cup that we could advance in. Uh, the Championship and obviously the Carabao Cup. At the second leg, we simmed against Man United. We actually got through 
overall we picked up a I think it was six three on aggregate overall so we're going to be in the Carabao Cup final and I think that might be next episode because we're going to be taking on Liverpool in that final and uh, we have uh, Sheffield United and replay the FA Cup after this game then we have Leeds here two big games back to back as you can see Liverpool there in the Carabao Cup final a big game against a team that we uh, obviously lost to in the Europa League final last season we have Watford Bournemouth coming up and I think that's it for the big games after that. Maybe Norwich is a big game, I'm not too sure. Luton might be a big game as well. As you can see via the league table, uh, if we win this game against Burnley, we get a few points clear of uh, uh, Bournemouth in second place. Let's get into this one and uh, hopefully put in another good performance against another former Premier League team. He literally made it impossible for me to get through there. The play here though, go on Stuart. Even though you messed me up, I won't mess you up. Back to me here, if you need it, I'm here. Ball into Sidi Mollet who shoots and peak up Farrell. Makes a save. But we're on corners here. Let's see what we can do. It's a dancing corner. Whipped in. Someone get ahead on that. McNally did. You know, Travella shot. Why not? Travella straight into the goal. So peak up Farrell in goal. I'll see you later, lad. A little burst of pace there. A pass inside. Over to Stewart. That's a good pass. Good touch. And can he get the shot away? Yes, he can. That's an assist. We've now unlocked the pinned pass um, attribute, well, play style now. So my passes travel at much uh, better speed, so I can pull passes off like that more likely. Well, more often, I should say. Because before that pass, I've been too slow, and the, pa and the chance would have been gone. But I can see it goes across there with a bit of pace. Stuart takes a good touch and a great and a great finish at the end of it to take the lead. He's in the advantage to my favour there. Oh, that's a great bit of skill. Great footwork, but a great save at the end of it. I don't know if Redmond kept that in play. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing the charging through. Shot is saved by Bazunu, and it's going to go out, uh, go out for a corner, though. So, not uh, Man City if he didn't get promoted this season. So, we already said a goal, Woods. What just happened? That is not what he tried to do. 100%. Oh, that's so unfortunate. His shot has gone straight into Bazunu and it's ricocheted off him into the net. That's how they equalise, okay. Oh, Robinson. I feel like we're playing so differently this game. I don't know why. I don't feel like I'm getting the uh, positions that I usually get. If I course makes it two, if I had two shots, two goals, in a way, two proper opportunities. That's a weird celebration by if I course there. Is that going to be a free kick for us? Yes, it is. Okay, good opportunity here. Go on, play it back to me. Shot from range. Is that coming in? Oh, it was coming in, but uh, for us to make the save. Oh, that cross was awful. That cross is decent as well. Oh, why? What have you tried? What if you tried there, Begnarek? There you go, small bone. Release me here. Oh, it's a great pass. Good opportunity here. Two defenders on me. Go on, Stuart. Bury that. Stuart, you've got to score. Why has he just poked it? What's he doing? Oh, he scored anyway. I'm not sure why he scored there, but we've got an assist for that. I'll oh, take an assist for that. That shouldn't be my assist where it is, okay? Why did he poke it, though? Why didn't he take a proper shot the first time round? Two very weird goals have scored. In, uh, not scored, but uh, two, goals have been, two very weird goals have, scored, have been scored in this game. We scored one, they scored the other. Very similar circumstances, this uh, type of angle. But this time it's a shot going straight into the back of the net. It's a great finish by Stewart to make it 2-2. This game clearly is not over yet. But I caught up blocks, but it's forced to Zoruri, and I don't know what he tried there. This has been a proper championship game, though. It's been scrappy. It's been just weird. It's a weird the way I can describe it. It's been very weird. Neither team's given it an inch. Again, like I'm trying to call for that down the side. Like, you know what I mean? That, down, down, down the wing, over the top. You just have to play it across the ground through the centre. Okay, you've got to bury this. You've got to bury that. Whoever that is, you've got to bury that. Palestri scores off the bench. Facundo Palestri, the former Man United man. Grabs the winner here, possibly in the 73rd minute. 
the first time we've actually, I believe, seen anything from him in the series. He's been at the team the whole time. I'll replace him in the Sutton 11. It comes off the bench in midfield. Gets the ball laid off to him by me and he just powers it past Peacock throwing goal to grab what could possibly be the winner. And we well deserve winner at that as well. We deserve to win this game massively. That goals are coming with circumstances as as other than Stewart's have been great. Uh, Stewart's sec uh, seconds have been great bits of play. Oh, I've won the ball back. Oh no, this is this is bad for Burnley. Can I score? Yes, I do. We make them pay for the error at the back. And as I always say in any Kermit video, quality shines through in the end, and that's what's happened in this game. The better team have turned up. The better team have shown their quality. A poor defensive error, as I stumbled over my words there. I might have been injured or just low on fitness or something. Oh, go on. Give me the ball. See you later. Go on, Shadows. Get a goal for yourself, lad. Off the bench. There we go. A hat trick of assists. And it's 5 2 in the end. The second I saw the timer, I knew we had one more chance in this game. That's why I wanted the ball instantly. I was like, you know, I need to create one. Ronaldo chop. Pass one. Play it through the centre. All for defended by Burnley. And a great finish by Shadow to make it 5 2. And we play out a great game here at St. James's Park. And we pick up the win in the end of it. Breeze going off for whatever reason. There must be some sort of contract clause for Stuart Armstrong to get uh, appearances or minutes. But there we go. It's a 5 2 win. Okay, well, that's going to call it for this episode of the uh, Player Kermit here, currently at Southampton in season three. And as you can see by the league table, we're currently at the top of the table. A few points clear of Bournemouth and Leeds, who are also fighting out for the uh, first and second spots. And next episode, we face Leeds in, this fir in the first episode, well, the first game of the episode, sorry. That's what we'll kick the episode off with. And we should be able to get a win over there. I think Leeds actually beat us in the championship earlier in the season. I actually want to have a look. So I know we've only, we've only lost one game in terms of the championship. And I can't remember who it was too. In my mind, I think, oh, it's actually, it was Burnley that beat us. Okay, so I thought it was Burnley that beat us. So I was right with, uh, with saying that before we played them. But we ended up beating them in this episode. And obviously getting revenge for that in a 5-2 win there. As you can see, we went through on the uh, in, in the, Carabao, in the uh, FA Cup sorry, on penalties against Sheffield United. I just simply passed that one and got that out of the way. I uh, just wonder what we're going to do to these games there. Basically, unless a team is like a team that we need to play like Bournemouth or Fulham or Liverpool or Luton, etc. Then we're not going to play them. And uh, what we need to talk about is our plans for next season. Basically, what I said in the series is if we do get promoted with Southampton, we will stay at Southampton. I said that when we weren't top of the league. I said that when we were fighting out for playoff spots in the league. We were sitting fifth and fourth, fighting out for you know those positions. And we hit a massive run of form and we made it to the top spot of the championship, beating teams like Bournemouth, Leeds and Burnley and stuff like that. So uh, that's why we're currently in the top spot. So next season... We will stay uh, representing Southampton. We will stay as a Saint in the St. Mary's Stadium. And then after that, uh, depending on elsewhere, we'll either go to another Premier League team, depending on how they perform currently in terms of Premier League teams that are interested in us. Let me just run through it. This is uh, the, the selection we have. We have Aston Villa, who are a team that we could possibly go to. We have Chelsea, a team that we could possibly go to. We also have Fulham, as we saw, but they are, are a decent team. Uh, Man City are the team that I would love to go to at any point in the series. I'd love to play for Man City, the team I support in real life. And also Nottingham Forest and Newcastle want to sign us. They're the teams in the Premier League that want to sign us right now. Wolves are also interested. They've recently signed Ansu Fati, yet they don't look like the best team in the, in the Premier League via the table. And just to show that real quickly, I'll show you how they, they are performing. We'll head over here to the leagues. We go to the Premier League. You'll see that Liverpool currently is at the top of the table. And then we have Man City second, West Ham third, Chelsea are fourth, Newcastle sixth. Uh, we have Nottingham Forest and Fulham there fighting out for 12th and 13th. Brighton are ninth and some other teams elsewhere. You can see Wolves are 15th currently, so that's why I won't really like to go to them. And that's the rest of the Premier League table. Millwall only have four points. That is depressing. Josh Serka would probably be very happy that Millwall made it to Premier League, but to see that would be depressing for him. <laughs> and any Millwall fan out there that would be awful I couldn't imagine seeing that as my team that I support they've not picked up a single win they've got four draws and they're just on four points 
uh, this far in the season. That's kind of depressing, to be honest. But um, yeah, let's go call it for this one. So drop a like if you're going to enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel and to notifications of missing videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you again for watching. Check out the uh, Dortmund manager career that I make on the channel. Well, doing the channel. Check out the uh, Hoodie and Avarice focused RTG. Um, what else? Uh, Model for free sniping videos. And I might be continuing the Spider Man 2 playthrough. There's one video up on the channel already. If you want to check that out, feel free to do so. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And. Goodbye.